today I will be sharing some facts to persuade you to join me in spreading awareness to protect ourselves and most importantly, our loved ones. How many of you have gone to a party, had a drink or two or just a few, gotten in your car and driven home? Drinking and driving is an epidemic. People are losing their lives. In 2017, 11,000 people die due to driving under the influence. We often think to ourselves, it's just one drink. I'm not even that buzz. Get, we get in the car without thinking about the consequences. Or we always say, it will never happen to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Debbie Williams shares her victim impact statement for her husband. Larry Williams was killed by a drunk driver Easter 2017 when he was coming just from church. They had been married for 46 years. She stated, a woman made a choice to drink and drive. She knew better but chose to get in a lethal weapon and drive. On September 30th, 2019, Catherine Cumley was sentenced to only 21 years in prison for the crash that killed Larry. She decided to get in the car without thinking of the consequences and Larry unfortunately placed, played the, paid the price for it. We often forget that our actions have consequences. According to Voice of Victims, Larry Williams, published by Mad in November 14, 2017. One drink is enough to stop you from getting behind the wheel. Alcohol takes over your body, slowing down your brain and your body reaction. It is believed that driving under the influence of alcohol is responsible for more than 25% of deaths that are related to road accidents. 25%. That is crazy. According to drunk driving and jail for first offense. Alcohol affects you leading to poor coordination, double vision, blur speech. With just one drink, it affects your judgment and it makes you not be able to think the way your brain is supposed to function without the alcohol in your body. A driver under the influence can judge distance between the cars, therefore leading to traffic deaths. This is a crime that must be punished because it is costing people's lives. The punishments that are considered for driving under the influence is a fine. For the first time offenders, it's a thousand year fee, yearly fee for a, thir for a total of $3,000. A second time offender is a thousand and five hundred yearly for a total of 4,500. And then we also have jail time, depending on the of the severe crime. We have also revocation and restriction of driver license, meaning they do take your license away for a certain time. We have probation, and then there's enrollment in alcoholism classes to pay for the price. According to the Sheriff's Office release annual DUI statistics, statistics. In 2019, El Paso County arrested 360 DUI drivers, which is almost one per day. That is insane. The NHTSA website reports almost 29 people die daily in America. That amounted to one person every 50 minutes in 2016. In 2016, 10,497 people were killed and 290,000 were injured. 25% of car accidents with teens are because of drinking and driving. Imagine running, imagine ruining someone's life because our selfish acts. Imagine living with that, knowing that because we were being irresponsible, we affected somebody else's life. Jacqueline Saburido was a beautiful soul and a victim in a drunk driving accident. We all grew up knowing her story and how she inspired many, many of us. And even her face was the anti-drunk driving campaign. In September 19, 1999, her life changed. She was only 20 years old. She was coming home from a party. She was one of the passengers when their car was hit by an 18 year old who had been drinking and driving. The driver and one passenger were in the car with Saborido were killed. Saborido and three others survived 
However, Saborido was trapped in the car while it was on fire. She survived, however, she, she lost her ears, hair, nose, lips, left eyelid, and had 120 reconstructive surgeries. Steffi, the one who was driving the car, was sentenced to only seven years in prison. Jacqueline inspired many people and still makes such an impact in teens' lives. This story is such a tragic story. However, she found a way to turn it in such a positive um, way. She... She used her story to impact us as teens that we tend to make dumb decisions to open our eyes and think about our actions before doing something that could cost somebody else's life. She was lucky to survive and she pushed through it and she decided to look the positive side of it. But he only did seven years in prison for all the damage that he caused. Um, drinking and driving should stop because it is costing many people's lives and it's something that there's you can't go back from when you affect somebody's life like that um unfortunately i've been in that position where i had to go to a funeral because of somebody's selfish acts my sister's co-worker passed away not too long ago um she was a beautiful person she was a wonderful mom and she was hit by a drunk driver and unfortunately their punishments are not gonna bring her back and it's it's crazy how just one night of having fun and drinking can take somebody else's life so I feel like in my personal story I Think twice before doing something like that. Drinking and driving is a selfish act and even a death sentence. Remember, we might not, we might not be so lucky next time. Think twice before you drink and drive. Maybe you could be the one changing somebody else's life for worse. And we don't want that. We need to stop drinking and driving because it's killing thousands and thousands of innocent people.